All right, we got a hold of a stringer. while I'm holding the pliers there is a piece of the 2x6 that's under there almost like I caught a fish and it's pine it's waterlogged but I'm getting this stuff out of those upper that the stringer to the upper stringers. All right, we just fished this one out. That's beauty. This is the back end of those two by sixes I was talking about, and I was able to fish them out with my extra long pliers. Some things are desperately needed for this rebuild. This is uh, out of necessity. All right, this is one cool thing about the camcorder. I can actually see through these holes all the way to the transom. So I know that these upright transom pieces are clear. There's a few pieces of the two by six that I was saying. I was able to clear out the two by six on both sides. So. This thing's gonna be full of sea cast. Here's the other hole, of course. That's fairly clear. That's fiberglass. And that's the other fiberglass wall. I'm gonna go to the top here. There's the transom wall, outside skin. And here's the inside of my upright stringers. They are totally hollow right now. So, I actually feel pretty confident in this there's the bottom the walls are clear both walls are clear i can't get on this side very well i just thought this was kind of a cool view and i used the camera to look through and make sure it is actually clean we got some reggae playing in the background so it's kind of nice sitting out here in the country air Rebuilding your boat, boat to some reggae. See ya. All right, here we are in the hall again. There's our tall stringer transom thing. Duct tape would not work in here, it did not stick at all. So what I had to do was where I drilled the holes, I actually stuck corks in them and they're very tight, they ain't going anywhere. And I will be able to open up like the top cork and make sure it's filling up as I'm pounding on the walls. You gotta pound on the walls to get the air bubbles out with a rubber mallet. Since the duct tape wouldn't uh, stick, I actually had to use, I've got this industrial strength Velcro and that stuff stuck. I was able to cover the holes with that stuff. And uh, see, there's a cork there. Kind of hard to see there. Let's go back over here. So I was able to cover the holes with corks and industrial strength Velcro. I actually like the cork idea because I'll be able to just pull it off and look down in there. And then plug them back. And they're in there really tight. So we're going to start getting to filling this thing up here real soon. All right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We actually just had a little bit of rain, so I had to hurry up and put a canopy on the back end of this thing and cover it with a 20-foot poncho so no water gets down into the transom. It's dark in here. And there's the Velcro stuff that I was talking about earlier. Boy, that stuff is strong. It ain't going anywhere. You can poke your finger through here and it's not going anywhere. What I did, I also have the brass drain tubes. 
Um, the brass drain tubes are at the bottom of this transom here. Let's see if I can get a backwards look at it. And uh, that's a motor mount. That's the brass tube. And I'm actually going to leave the brass tubes in. So they not only fill up the holes, they're perfectly drilled square. And they fit really tight. So I know that's not going to leak. And I doubt I'll ever take those out over the next 20 years. I'm sure this boat will blow up by then. So I also have more of the Velcro down here um, at the transducer holes. Uh, and we're about ready. We're about ready to mix this stuff up. We have our implements of destruction. We have made funnel out of wood. We're going to funnel the sea cast into the transom with. We have pushers. Golf club would probably work. I might actually go in and get one of my really old ones. And we have the stick that will push it down into the funnel. Rubber mallet. <clears throat> and I also have a level out because there's one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to make this halfway level but leaning forward just a little bit. And the reason is the reason I want to do that is I want the sea cast to go down into those strainers. So what I'm going to do is the floorboard should be fairly straight. And I'm actually, that's actually pretty good. I am aiming the boat with the front side down just a little bit. That's actually perfect because I want that sea cast to run forward into um, those stringers, those risers. I don't know what we're calling them, but that's what we're calling them now. So really, I think we're sitting pretty here. We're gonna try to jam all the sea cast down in there and forward into those holes down here. That's what we're going to try to do. And uh, I really feel that we get this jammed all up in there properly. We got all that wood out of there. It's clear. I really feel that this will be a pretty solid transom. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe down the sides of the walls inside this area, inside the main area in here uh, with Pre-cleano or acetone. I've got some acetone because I want a really good bond between this skin and this skin Between those two. I need a really good bond between those so I'm getting everything set up and we're about to start mixing this stuff Action All right, Ccast is open. It looks like cream cheese icing that goes inside a carrot cake. It actually looks delicious. According to the directions, you want to use a double bladed beater paddle. Uh, I bought this at your local Lowe's. It's a drywall beater. It has the dual blade on it. It's got the two blades, one top, one bottom. That's what they say is good to mix this stuff with in the instruction manual. First, there's a three-step process. You want to actually mix so it's an even consistency because in shipping everything you know settles and then your second uh, step is going to be adding the catalyst to it and you want to add the catalyst not slowly but one tube at a time then pick up the other tube mix it in they say don't do it all at once uh, that's your second step and mix it for three to five minutes and then your third step is actually going to be adding the fibers which from what I understand from what I understand is recycled boat holes 
<laughs> Pretty interesting. I'm glad we're recycling. So that's basically how to do the three steps. We're going to mix it up and then I'm going to set the camera down somewhere and we're going to get a shot of us loading this stuff in here. Uh, and that would be about it. And then I'll do a little video on how to do the cap. Got it. Yep. with all the stuff in it, it's mixing better and it's not flying everywhere. And I'm in forward now. Alright, I think we're about to pour. So close. You're on there. Dude, so close. Slide it down there. stuff. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. There we go. Ready? Hold on. You got like a little finishing spatula? Yep. You ready? Go ahead. Pull it off. There you go. Alright, go ahead. Put it in the bucket. Oh my gosh, it actually is almost perfect. Probably scrape wow. up to so get a little bit of icing on top. Well, I've got to cut a. Uh, oh, to fit down I have in to there. cut a, a, um, a fiberglass cloth. Yeah, yeah. And shove it down in here, and that's yeah, how you that's how you seal off the cap. Yeah. 